What's up gamers? Today we're going to be visiting my mother's island on Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's called Haleakala and it's kind of a cat island now. She has all cat villagers and it's been roughly six months since her previous island. I'll link that at the top if you want to watch that. So we're going to see how she's changed it so far and see all our cute villagers and stuff. Also, a majority of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you could do that real quick, that'd be great. Okay, let's get into the video. What's up gamers? We're back again. I'm touring my mom's island. She updated it, so we're gonna have a fun time visiting it. As you can see, I'm dressed as a cat, and she's a cat back there, if you can see her. And it's been roughly- oh, she's coming over. It's been roughly six months since her last tour, so we're gonna see what it looks like now. Wanna say hi? Hi! I'm glad y'all are coming back to see how I've changed my island over the past six months. Alright, so where do you wanna show me first? All right, well, let's start this way, and you can see how I've changed my entrance. Yeah. So I decided to use the butterflies that I had crafted as my collectibles. Mm -hmm. um, so I have those there. I have this little special space, and then if we come this way. So here is kind of like my diner section and gaming kind of room. A little fun space to hang out. KK Rock is currently playing. There you go. And then over here is where I moved my campsite. I decided to make it on the beach, so it's over here. And there's a cute fire pit area right here. Mm -hmm. I like the marshmallows on the thing. That's one of my favorite fall recipes. All right, so if we come back up this way, we'll continue down the path. And I finally got most of my rocks to spawn oh. one area. So I'm still waiting for one more, which is why I have a few places open. I'm hoping that that will happen eventually. I like the design, it's like an arrow. And that's <laughs> fun when it happened on its own that way. Yeah, mine also spawned on their own, kind of together. So we'll come this way, added another bridge here. Oh, there's lots of water. And then over here is my little coffee shop, kind of bookstore, kind of place. Like a nice place to study. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted to say- ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, run! Oops. Oh, I wasn't trying to move it. Sorry. Right, so we'll go this way. Mm -hmm. Then if you come over this way, you'll see my winter wonderland. So I've put away all the Christmas stuff, but I kept out the snow and ice things that I've gotten so far. These are so weird looking, but they're kind of cute. They're cute. I like them. And I don't even have like half of these things. I don't have the snowflakes or these reindeer. I love the snowflakes. They're really pretty at night. I imagine. All right, now I want to take you over this way. And I have a little sitting area here, which turned out really cute. I love the mushroom thing. The mushroom thing, yeah, it just, I've been wanting to figure out how to do this area for a while and it just sort of all came together. It's like a fun little rest stop in between it the is. areas. Absolutely. Alright, if you come this way, you'll see that I've put in a little restaurant up at the top. Kind of a oh, fun little it. place wow. to dine. Like an imperial kind of mm -hmm. sushi place or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, I didn't know it's fun. Yeah, a lot of the items in this game are interactive if you click on them. Oh, wow. That's fun. <laughs> and then I have a little pond up here. So it's the third level right. for those fish. That's how you get the string fish, I think. Come back down here. We'll see this little more mushroom stuff I decided to keep out. And then this is the entranceway to see my villagers. Okay. So I was able to move all of my villager houses so they're all together on this row. That's Kitty, Kid Cat, Lolly, Kiki, Raymond, Anka, Olivia, Pearl. There's some villagers out there. Mo and Rosie. Those are all of my cat villagers. All right, so we'll go this way, and this will take you kind of have a little dog park there. Uh -huh. And oh. then this is where my shops are. And the shops have always been here. I've changed things around them, but I've liked this location. Right, I remember this. And then here I made kind of like an ice cream parlor, oh, smoothie, and I'm sort of getting ready for Valentine's Day, as you can see. Yeah, the balloon colors. And the sweaters by the store, I put them out. Cute. All right, let's go this way. This is where my lighthouse is, which always has been here. And the custom design path. Yep. I didn't design it, but... No. There's the lighthouse. 
And I like the, are these the Camilla start bushes mm -hmm. now? Yeah, they, they just came into they bloom. They just started, yeah. So over here is the same from the last tour, is my little stargazing section, because I really like this a lot. Really cute. I Again, I love the Crescent Moon chair. I said that last time, but it's adorable. And I like the little blanket to have on the floor to Yeah, a little picnic. Sit. Let me sit. Let me sit. Ah. Let me sit. Cute. Then if we come down here, we'll go to my secret reading space. We'll come down here. And this space has been here before, so you can sit there yep. and I can sit on this cushion. And there we go. Yep. Now over here is a new area that I made by my museum. I used all of the items I got from Celeste. Got my a custom design that I got online. <laughs> It's like a little space station. Yeah. Very interstellar. Yes, we and love it. And then this leads up to the museum, which I believe looked like this. The yeah, last it did. Time you came. Okay, so we'll go back down here. And again, this is our orchard, which takes you to the secret beach. I did relocate my flower garden which is a sample of every flower that I've been able to grow on my island, and I group them by different colors. You still need the blue rose, I see. The purple pansy, I haven't been able to get. The blue rose. Have you gotten golden ones, right? Oh yeah, I've got the golden ones. But I, I like this little space. Yeah, it's cute. Then we can go back over this way. This is just kind of a hodgepodge of different items I've gotten from Gulliver. All your monuments. Mm-hmm. I really want the Stonehenge one that you have, and I haven't gotten that one yet. Over here is where I have all of my sea creature <laughs> statues. Oh my god. I wanted a place to display them. It's a little morbid. They're looking over the ocean longingly. I never can't go back. <laughs> Poor guys. <laughs> and then when you come over here, this is a section I've kept from the beginning, and it was one of the first things I did because I love the tulips, and it's such a fun little place that jets out over the ocean. You can sit, watch the fish go by, mm -hmm. you know, the vibe. And then I love this water space that I did that's the three tier. Oh yeah. Or two tier, I guess. The water It gets you to the third level, right? And then we'll go this way, and I'll show you the other side of the island. Okay, now when we come over here, this is where the band plays, and you can sit and enjoy some music. Like soul. There you go. And then over here, I did do a little basketball area, and this is sort of my kids section. So I decided to put out the teacup ride again and make the little playground right by the beach. We watched Seoul recently, which is why I mentioned Seoul anyway. You can go. Okay. What's next? All right, so coming over here, this is something I just put together yesterday. I wanted to use my pirate stuff from oh. Gullivar, so I just kind of put this custom design down and try to make it look like a pirate ship. It's like a shipwreck. Oh, mm. I spin the wheel. This gives me big Wellerman vibes, like a, it's a sea shanty, if you know what I'm talking about. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring a sugar and tea and rum. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what's next? <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. And then this is just where I have a little pond here. Rosie's over there. Rosie. Hi, She's exiled from my island oh. in place of Anka. All right, and then let's go down here so we can kind of go through the plaza and I will show you my house. There's Olivia. Hello, Olivia. And Pearl. There's oh, wow, Tina. do you change out your bushes every time there's a new one? Yeah, because I want my house to look pretty. <laughs> Cute. All right, so we can go in. Oh, sorry, Pearl, I just switched <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, so here's my family room. And in here, I have the pictures on the wall of everybody that gave me their photo. Oh, wow. So, oh, it's like family photos. I know. It's <laughs> cute. They're like your kids. Um, and then what I did differently with my house this time is each room is sort of a season. So if we come back here, this is all fall. Okay, so I used the fall items in here just to make it a cute little kind of guest room space. I like it. Thanks. Can we turn the light on higher? Sure, if you want. I'm sleeping in your bed. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so this is my ice room, my wintry room. But you can see the snowflakes in here pretty good now, how they're yeah. lit up. 
So I haven't really done too much in here yet. Is this like an ice bar or something? Yeah. <laughs> There's a nice table. I haven't gotten that recipe yet. Oh, I think I have that. I can make you one. Oh, okay. Cute. Okay. We love it. Ice Age vibes. Yes. So this room is very similar um, to the last one, I think. Um, but I use the spring wallpaper and just try to make it more plants and things in here. Yeah, it's more zen vibes. Yeah. Like a hot bath and stuff. Cute. Okay, and now let's go to summer. Okay, so here's my bedroom, and I clearly use the mermaid objects from trading in my scallops. Yeah, I used to love this theme in New Leaf. I, my whole house was mermaid themed. It's adorable. Yeah. And it all comes together nicely. So cute, under the sea. Yeah. And then finally is my kitchen. And I like this, it's so much bigger. I used to use the little room upstairs and I can just spread out more down here and make yeah, it turn I, out well. I remember everybody loved this furniture item. I forget what it's called, but. It's the ironwood. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. cupboard, I don't know. Really cute. Thank you. <laughs> I like the doggy over here. Yes. Doggy has to hang out. Now you've seen my island. My house is the island within the island. Yes. So you can see that with the map. Yeah, I'll put a picture of the map. Okay. And you can see it in the corner anyway. But yeah, she has all cat villagers. Let's take a look at her map real quick. See, she's got Pearl, Raymond, Lolly, Kiki, Mo, Olivia, Rosie, Kid Cat, Anka, and Kitty. I know I said this in your last video, but what's your native fruit? My native fruit is the peach. And what's your native flower? The rose. Cool. And I have those in my entrance ways, um, kind of like as an homage to that. So we'll just kind of go back over here. And I do have my little gold roses oh, yeah. here. All right, and then this just takes us back over to the plaza. And then I'll show you how my entrance way shows the peach tree and of course, the lovely rose. Oh wow, true to your natives, I see. I don't even remember what mine was. I think it was the apple and the flower. It wasn't yours a pansy or a no. mum? Oh, it was mums, yep. Mums. Thanks for visiting my <laughs> island. I hope you had fun. You're welcome, it's a pleasure. I've been here before. I'm sure you'll be here again. Yep, and it looks so different now. And this is her flag, by the way. She said she copied it. I borrowed it off the internet. Yep. It's way cuter than what I did last the first, time. The first flag, cut back flag to that. Flag. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's great. Okay, so the creative element I'm not great at. Flag okay. fail. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. I'll All see you right. later. See ya. Bye.